So yesterday, I posted a pretty fun little video where we looked at something that might be an Easter egg or some little sneak peek at a feature coming to Android very, very soon. This occurred at the end of a video that was played on the official Android YouTube channel. It's something called the Android Show, and this was a special Google I.O. 2025 edition. At the end of the video, Dieter Bone came out and showed a whole bunch of more recent Android phones, and the entire time, in the bottom corner of the screen, there was this tablet-looking device with a very sort of interesting-looking desktop mode being displayed on that screen. So I, of course, did what I would always do in a situation like this. We zoomed in, I looked at things, tried to analyze, and tried to speculate about what we were seeing. And as it turns out, the desktop mode that was on that screen did, in fact, look remarkably similar to the desktop mode that Michal Rahman of Android Authority, what he was able to enable, was built into the Android 16 beta number 4. This is Michal's video on the Android Authority uh, channel, and then this is the image, a screenshot from that stream. You can see a lot of similarities here. So basically, that's what I presented to you. Hey, they're showing something on this device. I'm not sure what this device is. Is this a tablet? Is a phone powering this that's off screen? Like you see with this, this is actually running off of a Pixel device, and it's just simply displaying on this next dock, but the Pixel device is actually running it. Is this something like that? Is it a tablet? We just kind of speculated, and I said, hey, maybe this is actually a sneak peek at this desktop mode that Google has been building for a while. But now we've had some time. It's been almost a full day. There's been lots of comments and some other developments, and we're going to look at this one more time and kind of give some updated theories. So the first thing I want to quickly show you, which I think it might lend some credence to the idea that there is something to this. I went on threads and I tagged Dieter in this post. Strangely enough, as it turns out, we actually follow each other on threads. It's weird to me that he even knows who I am, but that's neither here <laughs> nor there. I said, what did you slip in there, Dieter, backlon? Is that what I think it is? And he responded and said, is what what you think what is? which is about as much as I could have possibly hoped for. And I said, all of it, Dieter, all of it. Looks a lot like that Android desktop mode we've seen enabled in this last 16 beta. And his response was, probably hard for you to see uh, through this video, but it is a, an emoji of a chick hatching out of an egg. I'm not going to tell you how to interpret that. I don't exactly know what that means. I think that maybe there's a chance that the message there was, this is something new, something that's emerging. It's it's a chick coming out of its egg. It's a baby. It's brand new. That would be sort of my assumption. If you have a better interpretation, let me know. But that was enough for me to say, I need remarkably little to run with something. Thank you. And then here we are. The next thing that occurred to me that I should have included in that earlier video, the video from yesterday, is that this interface does look very, very similar to the interface that Google rolled out onto the Pixel tablet not that long ago, where apps have a little handle at the top of the screen. You can touch it and drag it down, and it switches into this desktop mode. You can actually pin your taskbar to the bottom. The taskbar looks the same. The windowing looks very, very similar, but there are some differences, right? So this bar at the top that is colored in, that is not how that looks on the current version of this on the Pixel tablet. It's very blurry and hard to see, but if you look closely, I'm quite certain that I see an X, a square, and a line. Close, maximize, or I guess, what's the opposite of maximize, where it becomes a window, or then minimize. Again, in that version, we don't have all three of those options. So it is possible that this is a an improved version of that. And of course, we are running on a tablet. But this is definitely not the Pixel tablet because the Pixel tablet's bezels are much, much larger than this. On the comments to that video, I had these two individuals here point out this looks a lot like the Yoga Tab Plus from Lenovo. And I googled it and I said, yeah, that actually really does look a lot like this Yoga Tab Plus. And it actually does have a desktop mode already on this device, but when you look into it, what you will see 
is that it does not look like this. It is Lenovo's desktop mode, but it's not what we're seeing in this image. So I think that it could be that tablet and it's running this desktop mode that was initially rolled out on the Pixel tablet. They've improved it and now maybe they're hinting at it rolling out onto other devices. But I also don't think it's a coincidence that this desktop mode that Michelle was able to enable in this Android 16 Beta 4, I don't think it's a coincidence that this looks remarkably similar to what we're seeing here. It's got the X, the square, and the line. It doesn't have the bar up at the top, but it looks ridiculously similar. So in my mind, what I think is happening is everything is sort of just coming together. We've had all these different OEMs with their own desktop modes and they all look different. We have Ready4, we have Dex, we have, you know, Xiaomi has their own. I've used a bunch of different desktop modes over the last several years, but they all are slightly different and they all look slightly different. Google is making their own and that's what it's going to look like. And we are seeing tablets begin to adopt it. Potentially that's a Lenovo tablet adopting it. And we are also seeing it rolling out onto phones where you can plug your phone into an external monitor, wireless mouse and keyboard or USB-C hub and get the exact same, more or less the exact same appearance for a desktop mode. Everything's coming together and unifying into this one look and this one UI, which I would imagine OEMs are probably still going to want to customize a little bit. We've had these leaks about DeX on One UI 8 where it looks a little bit different than DeX currently looks, but it doesn't look like what Google is doing. But apparently there's a chance that this is based on what Google is doing with Samsung's UI sort of on top. I would imagine you'll see more of that. And keep in mind, we've also seen reports that Google is doing the same thing with Chromebooks. That Chrome OS might be basically absorbed by Android and future Chromebooks will just be running Android with very likely this very same user interface. They are developing a single UI that will scale across phones, tablets, and laptops. And I think that that is precisely what we are seeing. And I think that that is precisely what they set on that table for nerds like myself and nerds like yourself, nerd is not a pejorative. I use it as a compliment. It was there for us to see and get excited about and speculate about, and we are doing exactly that. So guys, hopefully this kind of sheds a little bit more light. I think that yesterday when I saw this, I got excited and I just kind of wanted to get something out and talk about it and show it to you guys. And then today the dust has settled and some more things have kind of percolated in my mind and some comments have helped me out and the threads thing kind of helped me out. And I'm like, okay, I think we need a fuller picture of exactly what might be happening here. When is this rolling out? Is it with Android 16? Is it still coming later with QPR1 in, in regard to plugging it into your phone, displaying on an external screen. When is it coming to other tablets? This is all very much up in the air. We are trying to piece together this puzzle from various puzzle pieces that we are trying to find. So nothing is set in stone, but I think that it's fairly clear to me this is the direction that we are going. But let me know your thoughts in those comments down below. As always, it's interesting to see what you guys think, but it's also often helpful. I don't know if you guys were right about the device, but you definitely got me thinking in that direction of, yeah, this could just be another Android tablet picking up that Pixel tablet interface. This could be a Pixel tablet too. I know that the Pixel tablet too got canceled, but if you guys remember, the Pixel Fold got canceled as well, and then they just made another one, and that's the one that got released. It could There could be another Pixel tablet still coming, and that could have been it. We just don't know, but the interface is there. It was meant for us to see it. It was meant to hint at something. And I think that that's what it was hinting at. So guys, subscribe for more content like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.